to another episode of Todd Plays Minecraft. In today's episode, we're going to be sort of painting a house, I guess. But first of all, let me show you this. My, my dude has a new contraption, a new toy to play with. So... Uh, oh, and I will I will show you that thing. That is a oh look how high I jump. <laughs> okay, let's run over here and I can show you exactly what we're up to today. So I built a thing right over here, a whole big building, and I built this entire structure out of these carpenter blocks, which means that. <laughs> This whole building is uh, texturable with any block in the game, basically. So, and I also, and then there's my contraption. Oh no! Whoop! 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 Whoa! <laughs> Which I'm having a little trouble uh, getting the hang of. Yeah. So this thing on my back is a jetpack, and. Uh, it's part of the Industrial Craft 2 mod. It's uh, it's an electrical, it's an electric jetpack. <laughs> and I am having a ton of fun with it. I wonder how, how high can we go? Yep, okay, I will die if I fall from this altitude. <laughs> uh, this is extremely dangerous. Uh, so we just need to descend slowly. I'm just gonna um, hit the old uh, jetpack. I'm gonna hit the accelerama matrix every once in a while, so we come to a gentle stop. Okay, so that's the <laughs> that's the jetpack, uh, the electric jetpack. I wonder how much. I actually, did not use a whole lot of electricity from it. Let's go ahead and put it right in here and recharge it, though, before we get started with our construction project. Uh, where does it go? It's right there. Okay, so now whew, we're going to be using the jetpack uh, a lot, I think, to uh, put textures on that giant building. So the way that this building is going to work is uh, we're going to go ahead and apply wool to it so that uh, you know, it's not that's not a terribly sturdy thing, but I think it'll look really nice. I think it'll it'll look really interesting, um, and especially the way the wool texture works with this texture pack. So we're gonna do something like that. Oh, I guess we could make we could make the stairs a different texture. <laughs> that one's kind of sticking out, huh? Yeah, we could. Oh, oops. I double that one up. Uh oh, uh, let's put this carpenter block back, and there we go. All right, let's get in here. Grab this guy. Okay, so <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do with this building. And of course, doing this bottom stuff is easy enough. But when we get to the higher, uh, when we get to the higher parts, that's where the jetpack is suddenly going to make a lot of sense. That's when it's going to shine. So let's just run around the corner here. Whoops! Ran out of wool in the giant... I don't know what this building is. Oh! One other thing I wanted to uh, do. Uh-oh. I should have probably done it first though. Okay, let's go get some wool. We're gonna run over here running 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 I'm running over here running 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 I'm running over here let's see I harvested the wheat just recently it is not regrown but that's okay we have oops not in that one but in this one we have an abundance of wheat let's go tend to our sheep since we're gonna be texturing that in that very large building in tight whoop 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 there we go. Entirely with wool, we're going to need a lot of wool. And I've already got a bunch, but let's get some more. I've rearranged the farm since the last time I recorded the show. I put the cows over here in the smaller one. 
Back up, cow. And in the smaller pen, I guess you would you would call it. You too. There we go. And I killed a lot of cows in the process. I have a lot of cow meat now. <laughs> and I, I put the sheep over here because I have a lot more sheep than cows, and I need a lot more sheep than cows, and I wanted to give the sheep more room. So we're going to feed all the sheep. We're going to get lots of hearts. Hearts, 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 hearts. From <laughs> All the sheep are going to make babies. I need more sheep. I need more wool. You will all make babies. Have some romantic wheat. Gets you in the mood for baby making. All right. Did we miss anybody? Is anybody hungry? That guy was hungry. That one is hungry. Ah, somebody was hungry. Okay. That's probably fine. A lot of baby sheeps running around now. Oh! There's one one poor sheep's got hearts and no no partner. There we go. Alright, so now that we've uh, now that we've done that. Let's harvest a lot more wool. Some of these guys are already out of the. Oh, I can't get. I can't get your wool. You dropped it outside the perimeter. Okay, we're gonna harvest everybody. Oh, I brought a spare. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to bring you guys on board and make a video. I haven't recorded a Minecraft video in a little while, but it is still a game that I play once in a while. It's a. Uh, Minecraft is really relaxing for me when you're doing farming <laughs> and and building things. It's a it's a very relaxing, peaceful game. So when I'm not quite up, uh, when I'm not mentally quite up for running through dungeons and uh, potentially getting killed <laughs> in uh, some of the more exciting games. I, I still will log in on Minecraft once in a while and just putz around and do things like decide that my sheep should be in a bigger fence and move them around or just decide I'm gonna build a giant building out of carpenter blocks because of no no particular reason. Because because why not? And uh, so those those activities don't always make good videos. When oh my gosh, there's a cow! What are you doing outside of the perimeter? Yeah, I don't always feel like firing up the recorder, the camera, when I'm just gonna putz around and uh, not really do anything necessarily interesting, or I don't even know what I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> but after enough of these sessions, I felt like you know, I really should, I really should record. And just kind of show people what I've already done, rearranging the farm, building this thing, and let you guys watch me do the next step. Just to kind of, I don't know, say, hey, this is what's going on now. All right, so first things first, going to take some, you know, what color should I make the floor in here? Is this all the wool I got? I really thought I was going to have more wool than this. Huh. That's not a whole lot. I guess that's why I gotta keep, uh, maybe the floor should be white too, since I have an abundance of that. Oh, well, we're gonna make at least some of the floor uh, green. I have decided that. At least right here in the middle, we're gonna have some green floor. Whoops, why is it so thick? And of course, floor we can do without needing to, you know, do carpenter blocks or anything like that. Okay, well, sweet. okay. <laughs> so what we're gonna do right here is this other doodad from Bibliocraft. We have an armor stand. I had to take off my chest plate, my chest piece, to put on the jetpack. So, oops. I thought I could, how do I do this? There we go. So you can actually put your armor on the armor stand. And I think this is a much, whoops, there we go. I guess I must have broke my helmet. I died at least once playing with the jetpack, And so I must have broke my helmet when that happened because I'm not wearing it. So anyway, so there is, uh, there's my armor stand. That seems, whoa, 
this jetpack is crazy. Well, that seems pretty cool. Yeah, I think when it's doubling up like this, I'm accidentally putting down two layers. Let's put that down. There we go. Huh. Only got one of these left. Okay, so... There, I've set up my armor stand. I think that looks pretty cool. Whoa, let's not go there. <laughs> and uh, let's go over here. One other thing. Since I was doing farm work earlier, I harvested some chickens for feathers. And uh, so let's go ahead and make some arrows. There we go. Uh, I need to put this flint someplace. Hmm. I've got a whole bunch of really cool textured uh, doodads in here. Ooh, some glowstone. I should grab some of that. What is it? Oh, that's clay. Okay. Yeah, I could use some glowstone in the giant triangle-ish building. I, I don't know what to call that building. It's kind of weird, actually. But, okay. And I was cooking up some sand over here into uh, glass. Lime sheep, why are you out of the perimeter? Ugh. I swear, sometimes herding sheep is like herding cats. Except it's more like herding sheep because it's literally exactly like herding sheep. Okay, let's focus on the outside. Ooh. Let's put this stuff in here. Jeez, I wish I had some more wool that was different colors. Let's do, let's put a, a blue streak around the area, the thingamajig though, just to, just to make it look nice. To try to decorate it, I guess. I could uh, apply something to the doors, too. Uh, whoa! Whoop, what? <laughs> what happened? There, let's, let's go there. Ah! Okay, well, the, whoops. Oh, what are you doing? And the server gets a little confused when I'm applying wool to those uh, angled pieces. There we go. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and do this whole dealie right here. Actually, no, let's, let's go ahead and not do the top piece. Let's leave that alone. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, whoa! Oh, that jetpack is dangerous. <laughs> I could hurt myself with that thing. Okay, let's put that back and uh oh this isn't gonna work is it I had to have a, I had to have that tool oh good it, it figured it out okay it knew what I wanted to do go away seeds all right let's go ahead and keep doing this not really painting the structure per se um what's going oh <laughs> watch where I'm standing. I'm applying the wool texturing. Is, it's different than painting, really. Oh, you know what? Right here, let's, uh, let's take out the glass. Let's put a, let's put a window in here. We're three in. So we're just going to texture these blocks with glass. One, two, three, bam. Oh, that, oh, that looks kind of weird, but you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. Some, sometimes it's okay for things to look weird. <coughs> that's, my, that's my motto. Oops, ran out of wool there. Okay, so that looks... Uh, it look, looks like something. Oops, uh, let's do that so I can open the door without necessarily texturing it. Uh, yeah, that... Uh, 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 that, I don't like that. Um, never mind. I don't. This is no good. This is no good. No, no bueno. This is uh, yeah. 
gonna change that. You know, I'm not good at like planning. Whoops, 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 whoops. I'm not necessarily good at planning things out ahead of time because I'm not great at predicting what things are gonna look like. So a lot of the time, I just do stuff and I, I just have to look at it and see what does it look like you know so I have to I have to you know make these things glass or wool or what have you and then look at them and say how does that look before I can know and I, I guess you know there's probably really good designers that that looks a lot better I think that's a nice yeah that looks good there's probably really good designers you know, like maybe Steve Jobs and, and uh, Johnny Ives and stuff can probably imagine what things are going to look like in their head ahead of time. But, uh, you know, for me, it's all trial and error. It's all just, let's do this and see what happens, you know. Uh-oh, doubled that up. Actually, I like the way it looks. If some of them are doubled up, I think it gives a really neat texture. But at this point, I'm worried about having enough wool to go all the way around. This is a pretty big building and I may not have enough wool to decorate all of it at this at this rate. Oops. So before I start wasting any by doubling up, I want to make sure that I just get the all the bases covered. Now this is really this angly bit here was kind of the whole reason I made this building was because I wanted to do this angly bit. So I saw, somewhere I saw a building that was angled on the side. I think it was in some picture I saw on the internet. And I thought that looked really kind of cool. Not practical, you know, it's kind of a big waste of space, but I thought it was just really neat looking to have one whole wall of a building at an angle. And uh, I very quickly realized that with the Carpenter Blocks mod for Minecraft, I could actually build my own weird angle house. And maybe that's what I'm gonna, maybe that's, that will be the name of this house, Weird Angle House. <laughs> so I went ahead and did that. And then here, as I was building it, you might recall this whole area was not nearly this refined. And I, for a long time, I've had a little lake right in here. I used this area to grow peat uh, for a little while before I expanded the peat bog down there so I could produce it closer to the peat-fired engines uh, that, of course, I used to make the uh, fuel to run the quarry over there. Anyway, so this, this whole area, I don't know, it has historical significance to me. This used to be a water source that I used frequently and grew my peat at, or grew some of my peat at. Anyway, I don't use it anymore, but I wanted to preserve this area. So I decided, let me use the jetpack to build the house over it like this, because again, I thought that would look cool. This jetpack is not uh, stable. There's a button to switch it to hover mode. But that button conflicts with one of the 10 million other mods here. Ah, I better eat some. You know, I better, I better go to bed. The moon is out. It's nighttime. There's going to be monsters pretty soon. Between me falling from my jetpack <laughs> and uh, not having eaten, um, if a monster finds me, I'm going to be easy pickings. Okay, so... Uh, so I thought it would look cool to have the building kind of built over that little pond. And I've thought about maybe building a staircase or ladder from the building down into the pond. So the pond could be like, oh yeah, let's eat something. Could be like the basement, the, the basement pond or something, I guess. I don't know. I thought that might be, might be a thing that I do later. Let's, are the, uh, the sheep have probably not regrown their wool yet, have they? I've actually been harvesting wool fairly regularly. Oh yeah, look, they a lot of them have. Uh, in preparation for this, I, I thought I was harvesting them a lot, but now that I start actually applying the wool, I really need white wool, guys. I've decided most of it's gonna be white. Uh-oh! 
Uh oh, what are you doing? A, a creeper has come to eat my sheep or to blow up the cool things I build. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, blue sheep. Oh, I, I, oh, I'm sorry, blue sheep. Oh, sheep, don't get between me and the and the creeper when I've got my bow and arrow out. Oh, oh, a sheep falls to friendly fire. I'm sorry, blue sheep. Oh my gosh. You know, they say it's the black sheep of the family that has all the worst time, but I think really it's any color of sheep that gets between me, my bow and arrow, and a creeper. <laughs> that sheep is the sheep that's going to have a bad day. The black sheep here are actually doing just fine, because they stayed the heck away from my loaded bow and arrow. Ding dong, sheep. Alright, so I am getting a lot more... This isn't blue though, that's teal. I'm getting a lot more wool, especially a lot more white wool, so it's a good it's a good choice to make the building primarily white, since that's what I have the most the most of. Alright, I've got a little bit of pink. I've got one pink sheep. I guess I could Oh, you know what? I wanna uh, if I'm gonna grow more Which one of you was blue? There's a blue one. If I want more blue, uh, it makes sense to, you know, grow more blue sheep babies, I guess. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. I didn't realize so much of this episode was going to be me gathering up wool. I thought the majority of this episode was going to be me putting the wool up on that building and doing um, artsy-fartsy designery stuff, but... Look what happens. Whenever I play Minecraft, I tend to think, like, even if I have a plan, even if I have an idea, I'm going to go do this, I end up doing a million other things in support of the one thing I'm going to do. If I decide I want to go fight some monsters, well, first I should probably go and uh, make some arrows so that I have some arrows to fight the monsters with. Well... If I'm going to go make arrows, I need a lot of feathers. So first I better go ahead and, and make some more baby birds so that I have, have feathers to replace the ones I'm harvesting. Well, to get more seeds, I need to harvest. Can I reach? I can't reach. I'm going to have to rely on my jetpack abilities. It's holding steady with the jetpack is not easy. Oh my gosh. Years of video game experience comes into play. Uh, I think I doubled up, didn't I? Oh my gosh, I am a ding-a-ling. Uh, there is a much easier way to do this. Totally thought that was a dude when I walked in here. I was like, ah, there's a monster in here. There we go. Look how much easier this is. Oh my goodness. I am a fool. <laughs> oh, oops. Doubled up that one. Oh my goodness. Yes. This is much easier. What was I doing? I wonder if anybody was screaming at the screen. Todd, just, just go inside. <laughs> All right. That was a lot easier. Although I missed this part, but that's not so bad. So anyway, um, so yeah, so it's like, oh, I want to go, I want to go adventuring and fight monsters. Well, first I better harvest some feathers, but first I want to grow more chickens to replace the chickens. So I better go harvest my wheat so I get more seeds. Well, if I'm going to harvest my wheat, I better go build a new sky. It's just like you start out wanting to do one thing and you just have this whole series of other things you have to do first. If you want to do the one thing that you want to do properly. Huh. Um, so I put wool out there, but it doesn't uh, texture these blocks in here. Whoops. So let's just go ahead and do this. Okay. Let's do this as well. Gotta 
do the inside here. It's getting a little choppy. I think all of these carpentry blocks are a little hard on my processor. Or memory. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, that got carried away! <laughs> I pushed the button too many times. Okay. I'm. What? Am I out of white wool? Ah! I'm five away! Oh. Well, more than that, I should have done all this. I need a lot more white wool. I need more sheeps. Okay, well, before I do that, uh, let's start this. I figured one, I could do it from the inside. It'd be easier. I figured one line of blue all the way around the building would look pretty uh, slick and give kind of an accent. Uh-oh. Did I, I double them up? I don't want to waste. I don't want to waste any of my blue wool. It's precious. It's precious. There's still a... There's a there we go. I got them all. <laughs> this jetpack is awesome, but it's a little... It's too powerful. I have no fine control with it. Very fun though. It's very, very cool. And the electric charge is lasting for a really long time. I'm actually quite impressed with it. I'm doubling up again. I've got a lot less blue than the white, so I really don't want to waste this. And yeah, I'm kind of realizing now that I could have just built. The oh my gosh, it just happened again. I could have just built the whole building, I guess, out of the wool blocks. Except I, I couldn't do the angle bits out of wool, but the rest of it I could. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Why do I have two? Oh. I have two because I still have to. Ah! I still have to put one over here. Okay. Um, but that brings up a good point. Um, I want to use this stuff, this glowstone here. Which I guess also, yeah. Kind of kind of having a hard time justifying building this all out of carpentry blocks. I really didn't need to do any of that except except the angly bits. Oh, well, it looks cool, I suppose, I don't know. It looks exactly the same as if I had just laid down a bunch of, uh... yeah, I could have just laid down them. Oh, well, they're already here. I'm gonna stick with it. <laughs> I'm stubborn. Okay, so. This is going to give me a nice blue streak, which is a lot different from a nice brown streak. You don't want that. <laughs> um, oh, we're not quite out of blue yet. So we're going to do this. There. Oh, I've got to grab that one. Let's go over here. Grab that and that. Let's do this. Whoops! Ah, jeez, I'm bad at this. <laughs> Good grief! This is why, in real life, I'm not a professional house painter or house wooler. Oh no! It happened. Ah, a freaking flabbing. Putz and putz and oh fart. Okay. Oh, look at that beautiful. I right hear thanks to the power of the jetpack, I can go right up here. Look at that beautiful sunset. You know, this whole area over here is one I haven't really explored very much. I've got this beautiful river running down here and all of these areas. I should spend some time pointing out or heading out in this direction. 
And look, there's a beehive right there. I can see it shining. I should spend some time looking, exploring in that direction. But for now, the sun is setting in that direction. Oh, hey, there was a bunch of blue uh, wool up here. That's neat. Oh, just not quite enough. Okay. Well, let's uh, better go take a nap. <laughs> the jetpack is fun. Oh my goodness, I'm enjoying that. All right, well, you know what, guys? Like, the whole rest of this episode is just going to be the same thing over and over again. It's just going to be me running over there, harvesting my sheep, feeding my sheep, running over there, applying all the wool I get off of them, running over there, harvesting my sheep. Uh-oh. And, uh, wow, a lot of monsters. So anyway, it's going to, I think the rest of this episode is going to be really boring. It's just going to be me running back and forth from my sheep in this building until I get enough wool to uh, finish it. Wow. Whoa, the jetpack is fun. But anyway, so this gets you guys all caught up with changes I made to the farm. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking about moving where I grow my trees uh, out to the cabin in the, in the woods way back there. I'm thinking it would make, uh, I, I, it's just kind of a pain because I spend a lot of time over there at the quarry and the warehouse and, uh, I'm all, and, and at the farm and the castle and I'm always running in and out in between all of these trees, weaving in and out of all the trees right there. So I, I, I'm, I, let, I did not replant the trees after I, I planted them last time. I'm thinking about planting the trees out by the cabin. It's just another little thing that came, to, little little idea that popped in my head as I was running around. Um, so, but anyway, so yeah, this brings you guys up to speed on everything that I've been doing, changes that I've been making, and uh, you know, by the next time, by the time I record next time, I'll probably have finished. Uh, with this building, texturing it and everything. Um, but like I say, I just think putting more wool on it is going to be boring. You guys don't want to watch all of that. So I need to spend some more time getting wool and stuff like that. So that's where I'm at. The quarry is still running. In fact, look, you can even see it from here. It's still running. It's good. It didn't run out of gas yet. Um, this Making the quarry that big is super awesome, but oh my gosh. It is, it is taking it forever, um, but it's pretty cool. Like I have not run out of stone, even iron. Every time I run over to the warehouse, that quarry has found all the stone and iron I would ever need. So it's pretty slick. I'm loving that quarry, man. So yeah, I guess uh, we're gonna wrap things up and you'll see what that thing looks like finished in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you for watching, everybody. Whee! <laughs> oh, this jetpack might get me killed more often than it's really worth. <laughs> oh, thank you and good night.